Welcome back folks, this is lesson 34 and today uh, I'll put you a sketch up first there, this is the, the sketch is, is, is preceding this, this section which you can uh, stop and sketch it on before we start painting but I thought I'd explain to, to explain to you what it is before we start this is uh, the colours we're using today, the, the usual ones I use a lot that's the, the the sienna and the or the ochre, ultramarine, and ultramarine plus the burnt umber, less of the second colour that gives you a nice grey colour, and a weak mix of alizarin and crimson. They're, they're the basic colours to start with, and what well, I'll take the colours off there so that we can see what we're doing. And this is is a place called uh, it's Long Island Farm. And it's Long Island Farm, but it's, it's in a special place. It's in the Falklands. Uh, and I don't paint anything where I haven't been, by the way, folks, after all these paintings. And uh, this is a, a, a special trip, and it's, it's a, it was a trip to see this farm, and this uh, travelling over around Goose Green, where all the soldiers were marching across. And I've never seen anything, the terrain around there, how the hell they marched there, I don't know, but they did a fantastic job. But this is this is the farm there, and and uh, we we did all sorts while we were there, and, and it was quite interesting. But there's a farmhouse here, like this. There's a sort of a, a Nissen hut type thing here, which is which is used for the farm. And this is fenced off this area. Here. The, the the sheep in there, and, and this is water just here, the sea actually, and then some hills in the background there, and some trees, which are, are leaning towards the right, and so the wind is obviously coming. From, from the left, quite often quite strong, so it's shaped in that colour. The the light today is coming from the right, so we're up from the right, and then we can start. So that, that that's the, the potted history of it, and uh, it it is it's 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 a, an interesting place to go to because uh, on, on a cruise ship, the uh, nine out of ten never get to land there because it's so rough. But I've been fortunate; I've been twice there. And each time we've been lucky enough to land and, and, and enjoy the, the, the people's company. Nice people. Right, we'll start off. I'm going to put some water on this for a start, just to, not all over, randomly, anywhere. Start us off. I might have a bit of sun shining. Some, some blue sky on it to start with. Try to leave some shapes of clouds. Then we can shape what's happening as we go along. Let the brush do the work, don't you get involved. And then at this stage, I want to introduce that pinky stuff in the base, a bit of the sky, like down here, like this. Look. Catch that, uh, that drip that's coming down the painting. distant headland there. An interesting trip this to this, this Long Island farm because they, 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 they're trying to teach us how to do all sorts there uh, in, including uh, uh, cutting peat out of, the, out of the ground. It was quite interesting. Light from the left, that's get some darks on that side of the, the cloud formation. Mm -hmm. 
Right, it's too nice that now, so we'll put some, put some clouds in there now. Let's, let's, let's put a nice cloud formation. Where shall we put it? Let's see. I think we'll up on up here for a start, shall we? We'll do it here. Roll the brush in this, isn't it? Like this, look. Roll it, see what you get. Also, it leaves you when you when you finish rolling. How's that? We'll close that corner down there. Nice and dark there. Because the weather is so changeable in this place. And it's, it's, it's quite, it's reasonably close to the Antarctica. Of course we went there as well, which was, which was fascinating. See some lovely spots there. And see the penguins and the this, that and the other, and there's all sorts. Quite a lovely trip. Very lucky. I want to sort of link some of this 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 grey, take it down the sky if you like, and bring in this the back end of the cloud. Which going, light's coming from the right today, isn't it? So we're going to get some shadowy areas in the on, on the side of these clouds here. Let's take it down and. Take it around the back there, light from the right. So we're going to get. The dark's on the left. Put water on the brush and soften it a bit down here. Take it towards the horizon. Might put a bit more dark down there. Plenty a bit of doubt there. A headland. Yes, when you think about it, the, 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 the sky is about two thirds of the painting, isn't it? So if we get this right, we're, we're on a winner. Well, you think you are anyway. So let, let's, uh, let's see how we go. Making it a bit threatening down there, that sky. There's some rain coming. Darken them clouds there. I said the weather is so changeable at this place. And I said, oh, that, 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 that goose green and all across there, you should see the terrain, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. How the, how, how the heck they did it, I don't know, it's, it, it's, it's just unbelievable. I found it rough, and we were on a coach. But I said, but the, 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 uh, the army's got a base there, and, uh, and the families are there, and it's lovely to meet the families. They're, 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 they're lovely, lovely. And, and we went on Sunday one time, and, and the, the they have a sort of a a, a, a race, a horse race, and, and they, they've got the stand there, and also the stand is a wooden shed, but uh, it's like that. And they set up from the distance, and the boat with a flag, and then they, they all. The horses come along, then who gets the winning post first? He goes by, past the flag, and they, they bet and things like this, which is natural. Nice, lovely. A real community. A lot of fun. Anyway, I'm, I'm, top, I'm, I'm, I'm messing now, so I'm, I'm, I don't want to start messing in the sky, but that, that's the sky side, anyway. So we can look and see what else we do. Right? Dry. Right, let's just tackle these, let's go from the back and work our way forward. So the, these distant hills first. And these are sort of in the distance, so you're going to get a sort of a, a, a bluey tinge to them. Uh, they're not going to be coloured. I'm going to use this, 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 I've got some, some of the, mix some of this, this colour here, that blue, with some of this pinky stuff down here. 
We should get some, some sort of a, a nice distant colour. That's the ultramarine and, and uh, alizarin crimson for the people that want to know. Right, let's see how we go with that. Touch more blue in there. I could have test paper, which is handy because I want to know what, what I'm getting. That seems all right. And I'll start at this side here. So this is our distant hill. There's a hill in front of that, which will be a little bit, just a little bit stronger because it's closer to us. So it makes a bit, a bit, a bit more colour, but stronger, less water. And pop that, pop this hill in here. This, this is a. I think I'm going to need a smaller brick here because I'm, I'm going to catch the roof of the the farm if I don't. Yep, I'm just going to switch down to a smaller brush out. Chicken in half if you like. the top of the farm there. Nice and steady. This gives you a backdrop. It, it's it's not important at all, but it, it, it's there. It's behind these bushes and that in front here. So I'm just trying to go around the bushes a bit. There's a little little house there, a little outhouse. It's not. It's not. They're not neighbours. I mean, they, they're so remote these places. You won't believe it. I say well, they showed us how to cut cut peat out of out of the land to, to, to use it for fuel, and they. Uh, it's amazing, it's amazing that they've got, they do this as a demonstration and they also, uh, the sheep farmers as well. And this, they give us a demonstration with a, with a sheep dog, that was quite funny it was really. I'm just finishing painting this bit up here. It's quite funny because uh, we were all sat there and there was, there was about half a dozen sheep grazing. And then this woman says, uh, and now we're going to demonstrate this sheepdog. We'll get these sheep into this pen here for you when I blow this whistle. And of course the, 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 the sheepdog was just lying down by, by us at the side. I thought, oh, this should be good. And uh, she blew this whistle. And you won't believe it. The the sheep ran into this pen and the dog never moved. <laughs> it had done it that many times, I think the sheep knew the whistle. <laughs> it was hilarious, it was a real fun, but uh, and uh, that's, the sheep dog had a really good job there because it didn't do, have to do anything. <laughs> that's all part of the fun though. 
Right, there's, there's, a, there's a hillside carrying on up here like this. Get a bit stronger as we come forward. It's a good idea to, to mix mix some more stuff into this because it, uh, it it helps to sort of make it make it come towards you. That one, this is nearer. This one, you see, I put a bit of ye yellow into this, some uh, some cadmium yellow, just a touch of it, just a touch of, to bring it forward. As we're looking at an angle, see, and this is the tree here. So this is coming down first this hill, and there's one behind that, then one behind that, one behind that. And uh, of course, in, in the distance here, there's, there's uh, fields, so we put all those fields in next, bring, bring it closer to us. And these fields are, we'll, we'll, we'll be green here, of course, let's have some green, shall we? Make it a touch of green. And a good colour for green is that uh, cadmium yellow is, is a lovely colour. We don't want it too too rich green. And then some uh, winter blue red, red shade there. Drop a touch of that into it. And I might put a touch of raw sienna into there to, to kill the green off a little bit because I want it going in the distance. See how we go with that. Right, that'll do. So this is this is in the distance here. Mind the mind the farm. Left behind there. We'll come down to the, the water's edge if you like. Here's the water just there. This tree formation is, is quite strong around here. And there's some, some more fields here which are a, a bit closer to us. I might paint a bit more a bit more strength of more yellow into it if you like to make it more richer. Let's see how we go with that. I keep off the water, this is a bit closer to us. Smaller brush, I'm got it it's too big that to do what I'm doing. It's like a Nissen hut as well. This is the, the distant green, if you like. Uh, look at that, that's run there, just up there. That's because I, I did it too fast. But uh, I'll get out of that, no problem. I use some of that, this dark colour here. And uh, we could do a bit of a hedgerow there. That'll keep the sheep out as well. So a bit of a hedgerow there. I've just I've made that up because it suits me. And it separates them two fields as well. Right about there. <coughs> I 
think I want some bits of dark down here as well. It's, that, that grass is, is, is too nice. So I'll, I'll sort of, as it kind of sweeps down to the down to the water's edge, it's, it sort of it's not a, it's not a lawn. It's a bit of rough ground. So I'm putting some a bit of blue on this, folks, just to to take me down to the water's edge. Right, we can put a bit more green just here around this. You might think it's a bit boring just now. This. I'm saving the nice bits till, till after we do with the farmhouse and stuff like that. Bring that round here. Right, a little bit there. And I'm also going to put some. Uh, separation of green just there to hedgerow to separate those two there. But pinch a bit of that dark what we've got for what we've been using in the in the background. That should give us a bit of a, a bit of a dark touch on that and put a bit of a, a bit of a hedge in here. Behind this nest knot, then it comes round here. Up behind the behind the farm, so we we get in sort of uh, separation of, of like fields, if you like. That's one big field there. This is water there, and this this foreground is a is a field here, or the paddock, and then green in the foreground. So uh, I might just put a, a darker darker uh, tree in there. Darken it down a little bit, just here. It makes an, an, another layer, if you like. Put this layers: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and we're, 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 it's about two inches that isn't it? in old money. I don't know which is in new money. Of course, there's a there's a hedge here like this. And it goes across there. I think I'll paint the uh, I'll paint the the farm first, though. I don't know what's any that bit of. And the paddock there. Keep it going. Now the light's coming from the right, isn't it? So we can introduce one or two darks into this. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit of a field in there, I want to put the, just drop that in there, that field. This is going down to the, the water's edge. There's no beach here, you know, it just, just went the grass and then 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 the then the sea. Interesting place though, very interesting. Right, I'm gonna put some darks into into that that hedgerow that we've got there. Let's let's just put a bit of dark in the in the bottom of it. 
against the light, for want of a better word. The light's coming from here and there. So we're going to get some darks and down down here. You know. Not the distant ones because you, I think you're a bit too far away, but but, but certainly this foreground stuff will, will, will show a bit of shadow in the bottoms there. So I'll put some, we'll get rid of this white first, then we'll concentrate on the buildings. So we need to get rid of this, this white. This, this is all greenery around here, so I'll, I'll give a, a, a wash of greenery on here. Then I can darken the foreground in to make it bring it po forward towards me. This is the cadmium yellow and a mix of cadmium yellow and, and winds of red shade. I said, I don't have one big mix, then just dip it. it, it this is, I, I keep mixing differently, so, so I, I know what I'm, I'm getting. It's, it's going to be a different green. A little refresher. So right, the water's there, so keep out of that. Some sheep there. There might be some green sheep on. We'll see. Keep that soft line going. foreground so I'll mix some more green because I've used that up and I want this green to be stronger than what we've just used because it's closer to it Wrap this in quick. Separation from that field behind, the paddock behind, I should say. And in the foreground, to bring it even further forward, I'm going to use some of that sky colour, this, this dark colour, just to have a dip in that, and bring it towards me even further. I say it's rough ground, it's not, it's not a lawn, it doesn't, it doesn't mean mould or anything like that, it's just rough. It's dried up I think. See, I might put something together, let's get the water in here because it's, it's, it's white, I don't, I, don't, I don't like white on my picture. I'll see where we're going with the white now. Smaller brush will do be fine, that'll do. And what's in the sky, of course, will be reflected in the water, won't it? So we'll, we'll put some of this, what's in the sky, down in the water here. This is the ultramarine and the some burnt umber in it. Just to darken it down a little bit. Let's see if that'll do me. The 
see how we go. There's only a little piece here, so that's, there's no problem here. I, I, I couldn't, I can live out here myself because it's very high, isolated. It is. It's, this is husband and wife team. That's all. That there's no kids there. It's just the two of them. And they've got they've got some horses. They've got some cows. They've got some sheep. And what what they do with themselves? I don't know. They can cut pea and stuff like that. But but there comes a time when you you must get fed up of cutting peat. So there's the water there. I'll put a bit more dark in there just to ripple it slightly. Show a little bit of ripple. Right, let's have a go at this here. We'll start at this side and work our way across. Now this this top of the they're they're a, sort of a, 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 a pan, well pantail or if you like yeah, it's it's like a corrugated iron but it's it's I don't think it's rusty I think it's it's like a well it's painted that colour I don't know but it's like a, a, a burnt sienna colour I'll, I'll mix a bit of burnt sienna and show you what I mean burnt sienna let's just start off with that. You it, it, it was a touch of burnt sienna with, with perhaps a, just a touch of uh, alizarin in it to pink it, pink it up a bit. Let's see how we go. Test it. Yeah, let's try it. So the farmhouse is, is well, let's go into this first one. Well, I'll do the farmhouse first. I want to make sure it's right there. This colour's nice because it's it's a complementary colour of green, isn't it? We, we go down here and nice bit of brightness in the picture sets it off. And then there's a strip, but you can see the edge of the tiles here. Down that side. And of course there's the this lean to here. I think they'll have this problem later. About angling windows, something like that. I don't, well, I don't know about angling windows, they're a bit far out for them. I bet it gets a bit bleak there. Ooh, blimey heck. This is another one here. It's got like a little bit of a, just a little bit twitched down there like that. Oh, and there's one in the back. I must remember them, them lid. There's a little one here. There. Of course, I've got about that one. Let's have a look. There's one about here. This is it. Right, so that's in the now now we'll do this the, the, the little nissen hut. And you'll just see the edge of it around the it comes over here and down. Well, it's a bit too pretty. I think I'd, I'd better show a bit of weather on it. A 
Let's have a little bit on this one as well. I'll use a rigger to try and indicate a little bit of darkness on it. Put a bit of indication of some of these. Might be, there might be a uh, bit Corrugated sheets or something. I can't see being pantiles out here. Course, let's put some on this one as well. And this one. See anything on that one there? I'll just, I'll just one or two on this curvy, this curvy top here. Which, when when somebody's looking at your picture and say, "Oh yes, it's," uh, you can see it's corrugated that, because you've you, you've just indicated it for them. Things are looking, which is coming together a little bit more now. Uh, right, where are we going from here? That's the building tops on. Let's get some uh, some windows in. They the, the, the white these, by the way, these these, these buildings, which is, which sets it up nicely. So we've got the full sun on this this front face here, front face there, front face there. And I'll put some bushes in, some these bushes in want to go in here as well because it's, it's sweeping towards the right because that's where the wind is blowing. In fact, before I do anything else, that's what I'll put in the next thing, put them bushes in, shall we? Bushes round here. Don't think your sound's gone, sometimes I stop talking. Not very often, but I do sometimes. I just get to do that. Lift some that colour out, it's got a well there. Put a bit, I'm going to put a bit of dark in the bottom of there to, where the light's from the right, don't forget. Let's just put some darks in that, in the shadow side. There's a bit of a hedgerow here, I've got a little hedgerow in that one, just here. Here again, we'll down the underside. from the right so that the, the darkest part of these bushes will be on the left hand side. Are we enjoying this one? It's, it's, it's something you, you, you can't paint in this country. We can't visit in this country anyway. But I'm, I'm hoping, as, as we go along painting, I'm going to take you to some different places. Uh, interesting places. That you get the chance to paint, even though you might not visit them. I'm not quite sure. But uh, they, they weren't very bright. So let's, let's put some, some heavy colour in here.
said, check on you. I'll show you this one I'm messing about because look that now I have a bit of paper and I always check on check on here see if it's if, if it's what I want because if it isn't I can alter it. But if it's only a picture you've had it, haven't you? So let's let's put in some some bushy thing bushy things like this here. And remember the the wind that the the prevailing wind is is from the, the left hand side and it's it's pushing these these trees, the shape of them, like like and well I live in Chroma so and the, the when you go along the coast you can see see the tree hill where they bent away from the, the sea wind when it's been a storm on. And more so, and there's another, another big one here. Let's drop this one in. I bet they need these bushes on when it's when the weather's bad. Protection from these trees against the wind. I'll put some darks in the bottom of this folks and give it some some shape. Because it's just a bit flat flat green that now, we don't want that, do we? So we'll dunk this down a bit and see how we go from there. So that the, away from the light, don't forget. Seems fiddly, but it's worth doing. As the trees come across there, so they're quite dark. And then there's another dark one here, which is in front of the others. And this one really sweeps up it, does it? It comes out like this. Darken down a bit. Real wind swept this one. Keep varying the green. Because this one's in front of the, the others. Put a bit, bit lighter colour in that one there. So leave, leave, leave some gaps so, so that the field and the, the distant hill can sh shine through it. Right now, there's, there's a couple of a couple of trunks on these these trees. It's two together, so I'll put a darkish trunk in here to to sort of show you what what, what is it's it's hanging on. It's there's one just here, which is quite dark. It is.
and there's another one just at the side of it so I'll put that one in as well just here so you can see some of the branches going through it I said that the prevailing wind pushes these even the trees leaning across Right, some windows in the in the in the, the building is now, shall we? Pop a few windows in. But I'm hoping that that's depicted that the, the, the direction of wind is from the left and sweeping across to the right there and blows out to sea. Right, windows, let's have a look what we've got. A little chisel brush might help me with this. That's a quarter inch one, I think. Yeah, quarter inch one. That's that little brush there. That might help for the windows. Test it on the paper, see if it's what you want. And then go for it. Some small windows here. And don't remember, remember that the, the, the left hand pane will show more than the right hand pane because it's set into the building. And if you're looking at it from this direction, perspective puts the the right hand side window behind that, behind the building sort of thing, so set more into the building so you won't see it much. This one's full into your face so you'll see both of them. On these smaller windows, I've got better do something a bit to Use a different brush on than smaller ones. But I'll put a put a bit of a door on this 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 uh, Nissan hut for a start. So a bit of a door on there. It, you know, it won't be bright or anything like that. They don't do bright. So we'll just do a. Right, I'll use the rigger now for a bit to, to try and sort out some of these smaller windows. You probably just see suggesting something out there like that. Nothing much more. Right now the windows here, and of course you'll see the light from the right, so you'll see a bit of a dark under there, where it's set into the building, and down the right hand side. That sets it into the actual building. Same with the the, the windows as well. They're, they'll Get a bit of a dark on them. Down here, this look. It looks a bit more realistic. You'll see a curve of the thing down there. All these windows are treat. It'll reward you. I 
I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a lovely blackbird in the garden singing its stuff. Right, that's what I had to cut you, you, you get at the edge of the tiles in here you'll get some this sort of stuff. Down the bottom of the, the, the corrugated or, or whatever it is, it comes to an end at the, the bottom of it there. So that'll that'll help. Darkened there where the, the tiles are. Down that side here. This one in the distance you'll you'll see some uh, suggestion of it just here like that. Windows and that done now. Right, this, 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 there's a bit of a fence round round this here paddock here, so I'm, I'm going to put the fence in next. Let's see what we can do with this fence. I'll put it in with a. Well, I'll, I'll try and use a flat brush. That that'll help me a lot. Get a flat brush. Decent sized flat. I'm going to use some raw sienna for this. Quite a strong tone, then it'll, it'll stand out. That's that first first colour we got there, and, and as I just said we, we don't need many colours. So if you've got these paints with a hundred colours in, you, you'll probably never use any of them, or most of them, I should say. Let's see how we go with this anyway. So we've got the fence starts. Oh, it's a bit small down there. I'll have to get a smaller brush on that. I'm going to make it up, mess it up. Let's see where we go with that. The fence comes sort of. Uh, where is it? It actually goes. About here, 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 then round the back here, down by the by the farmhouse. And then the four down ones will come up towards us here, like this on this. Here again, they're not B and Q. They're a bit rough. That's handy when you, you, you find trouble painting them. Because if you're not very straight, or steady with your hand, you, you've got ideal for these rustic pens, pen spokes. You've got a natural flair for them. Don't knock it. It makes the poles look a bit more three-dimensional. Instead of just a flat piece of colour. And on the left-hand side, because the light's coming from the sunshine's coming from the right, isn't it?
Right. That's fancy. Well, put a bit the bit of uh, wire. I think they have wire on it or something. Nothing. Nothing special, you know. Because then the, uh, the, these sheep are so well trained, they get into the pen without the dog. So it'll, it'll be nothing special. Well, it's 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 too neat. This it because normally what you find by by the where there's poles and that is is rough grass growing up. I mean, it just just it just it just does. I don't know why, but it does. So we'll just let's let's suggest a bit of rough grass, making its way around here, this, this sort of stuff. Sort of separates the the two fields as well. Takes it down to the field there. And there's some around that far side there, but I've got to be careful. I don't want to bring them forward too much. And it'd be nice if we, uh, we put some wire on there. Now you can do it with a rigger. Uh, sometimes what people do, I know, I've done it myself, is uh, is use a, a, a pelt tip pen, the, 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 just to get it thinner than ever. But we'll see how we go with the brush. You see, it's watercolour, and uh, what I like about watercolour is that it, it whatever you put on, it, it dries at the same rate. So that's that's important. Uh, the lights from the right, so the, the, the shadowy area, if you like, on, on the sheep will be on the left hand side, won't it? So it might get a sort of indication of shadow on the left hand side of this, the grazing sheep and on the underside. They're always, they've always got the head down feeding, haven't they? So. There's not, there's not, not them facing away from us, so they're down here, and they, they, they have some of a black faced sheep, and which which shows you which, which point, which end is the food end. So we'll put a bit of a black on here. That's it. Put some legs on this one. Blackhead there, blackhead feeding there. That's all they're interested in food. Mine are partially to it myself. Little legs. So there's a few sheep. Oh, I know, we'll, we'll put a bloke in with a dog, shall we? That, that'll, that'll do, because uh, I'd I, I have to put this dog in that, uh, <laughs> that was doing, doing the herding. Uh, I'll put a fellow in first, Let, let's put a fellow in. We'll put Fred in. Fred, Fred with his red jumper. Fred, he gets all over the world, he does, Fred. He loves it. Let's see now, there's sheep there. So if Fred's about here, let's say here, he'll be, oh, I could put him here. I'll put him about here. And then, uh, 
just making his mind up what to do here. Put some dark trousers on. Fur lined, chilly out there, I tell you. from the right isn't it so the shadow will be under there and under there and that side of his arm and put him a head on Red. Oh, I won't put the dog in, shall we? We'll put a black dog in. So the dog is here. When you're painting a dog, let me give you a tip. Never tell people what it is until you've painted it, then you can decide what it looks like. This is a Heinz 57 variety, cross with a sheepdog. No shred will. We'll put some, some dark hair on Fred. Yes, Fred. And of course, when you do things like this, what you've got to do is put your wire back in. Because <laughs> he's behind the wire, isn't he? Uh, don't, we don't want to leave this dog. He's so, so obedient. No, it'll be all right with the sheep and everything. Right, I think the last thing we've got to do is shadows, isn't it? So we need some shadows, folks. Let's put a mix a bit of shadow colour. And let's use that same colour as what we've used before. That's the ultramarine. With some burnt umber in. Use these transparent colours to give you your shadows. You'll find it works. Trust me, it works. Right, the light is from the right. So this, that face will be in sun. That one will be in sun. That will be in sun. That in sun, and that in sun. So this other bit will be in shade. So let's put some shade in. Start with this one. That's in shade. You might get a touchy shade there with it. It's all bring in there like that. This end panel of the will be in shade. And of course this panel will, will cast a shadow on there, won't it, like that. 
You don't forget that. This one by the shadow on this side here. The overhang there will cast a shadow. The overhang on that will cast a shadow there. This wall here, uh, the background building, will be in shade. I'll be careful, I don't want to mess things up. But I don't want to miss any either. I think we'll get some some shadows from uh, probably a bit of shadow from Fred, won't we? Of course. Don't forget Fred. And the dog will cast a shadow down here. The sheep will cast a bit of a shadow down here. Not not too much, of course. If you like, the poles will cast a shadow, but don't go mad. Shady area under these trees just here. And perhaps the back of the house will cast a shadow down here as well. This this Nissan hut you won't probably see behind it, but you'll see some shadow from this house here like that. Just be careful I don't overdo it. We might get a, a cloud shadow on, the, on this hillside here, perhaps. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Like that. Now, the last thing I want to do is just check that sky for any birds. That's, that's, I thought it was stupid, but it's not. It's, it's loose, so it's going. Well, that one, that looks like one there, doesn't it? Well, I've one up there. We'll just do one in, just to give it a bit of, bit of interest. So this is a Falklands gull, whatever they look like. I'm sure somebody will know. Falklands gull. That'll do. Not too much. And I take the brush off me now because I, I think I've finished. And that is our uh, Long Island farm in the Falklands, in the in the South Atlantic. And well, that's all for today, folks. If you've enjoyed the video give us a like or, or, or and subscribe and then you'll get the next one and i'll see you on the next one if you have any questions at all pop them on the the comments below and until next time it's it's goodbye goodbye folks <laughs>